On January 17, 1994, Southern California experienced a strong earthquake. Although it was centered in Northridge, we felt the effects here in Santa Clarita. Here are some photos of the damage that occurred at the college. This video was made to help you prepare in the event another earthquake occurs. Here are some helpful things you can do to prepare prior to an earthquake. Put together a first aid kit with basic first aid supplies, taking into account the area that you work in and who might be directly affected by that emergency. Purchasing a wind-up or solar-powered radio is not only penny-wise, but energy efficient too. Consider personal toiletries, hygiene supplies, and any regular prescription meds, enough to last for a minimum of three days. It is important to have extra clothing in case you are not able to get home. Consider durable, comfortable clothing and sturdy shoes, heavy-duty gloves, protective eyewear, and a dust mask are great assets. Consider useful tools such as a flashlight, light stick, tape, small shovel, etc. All bookcases and tall furniture should be secured to the wall. Move all heavy items to the lower shelves. Remember, this will also help keep your escape route clear for a safe and easy exit. You can see the damage that occurred to those areas where items were not secured. Get together with colleagues and make a department emergency bin. These items should benefit everyone that works in your surrounding area. Instructors play a huge part in our evacuation procedures. That's why it is so important to take a few minutes at the beginning of each semester to discuss the procedures and how it will work during an emergency situation. Demonstrate how to properly duck cover and hold on to the furniture so that you move with the furniture during the shaking. Ask that students sitting near someone with a disability assist them in seeking a safe place to cover such as an inside wall away from windows, covering their neck and head areas. Proceed with the class to an established evacuation site. Once you arrive at the site, take roll and note if anyone wants to leave. It may be safer for them to stay. Try to reassure your students and keep them in a group. Having a vehicle emergency kit in your car will provide assurance that no matter where you are, during an earthquake, you will have the appropriate tools to sustain yourself. During an earthquake, while driving, do not stop on bridges or under overpasses. Do not stop near power lines, light posts, trees, or signs. While driving, slow down, pull over, stop until the shaking stops. 